Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the A-Side. I am your host, Riley, and uh, Muse just put out a new single entitled Compliance. Their new record, Will of the People, is coming out in August. Uh, I like Muse, especially their first four records. Specifically, Showbiz and Black Holes are my favorite. Um, I like the two records in between, of course. Origin of Symmetry is a classic, and Absolution has some great moments. Um... I like quite a bit of their other stuff. I think The Second Law has some good moments, along with Drones. I've never been too big of a fan of records like Absolution and uh, Simulation Theory. That being said, when I reacted to the new song Won't Stand Down, a lot of people watched that, and I got some pretty mixed feedback, at least from Muse fans. Uh, it seemed people were kind of split on how they felt about the song, but a lot of people watched the video... Um, I'm sure at least one of them is interested in, interested in what I think about compliance, uh, so I'm going to be reacting to it. But before we get started, if you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It is completely free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you want. Anyway, um, let's do it. Compliance. I don't know what to expect. The last song was weird, um, for music standards at least. Compliance. We just need your compliance. So you will feel no pain Wow. Anymore. This is so like stereotypically muse in such a way, just a giant choir of people going compliance um is so like caricature of what muse is. Um I follow this guy on Twitter named uh, Shade, and he was talking about how he was kind of sick of the whole Aurelian 1994 muse, like, oh, they're trying to silence us and, and shit. Uh, and I would have to agree, I'm getting kind of sick of it too, um, running really with that theme since um, since um, the follow-up to Black Holes, which I can't think of right now, um, the name of... Um, since that record, they've been doing this kind of 1984, you know, government is trying to silence us, the higher-ups are trying to silence us, and it's definitely worked um, better than others on certain records. I think Drones, it worked really cool, having the kind of military war concept and the kind of heavier sound. Um, but throughout the rest of their kind of work, it hasn't really worked great here. Uh, and looking at, like, the track listing for these new songs, stuff like, uh, We Are Fucking Fucked, or whatever that song is called, uh, and stuff like Compliance and Won't Stand Down. I don't know. I'm just kind of sick of it. Uh, and this song just is so stereotypically Muse, trying to be the whole, you know, space queen, and the synths sound cool, but starting your song off like they did here with the, you know, layered vocals, operatic, Compliance! Very much, like... I don't know, Won't Stand Down was trying something so new, and Compliance just sounds so... Muse. I do like the bright synths. Um, almost reminds me of like Coldplay as Miles I Lodo. I really like the synth work, actually. Ooh. Is that the bass? Or is it the guitar? I think it's the bass. The drums there were cool too. I actually really like the sound of this musically so far, but don't like whatever Matt is doing. Ooh. I actually think this. The music here has such an intensity to it. Reminds me of classic news. Ooh. Okay, those vocals are going on me. That, that part right there was very Black Holes. I love Black Holes Revolution. More than you can chew, you're running scared 
this bass here. Yeah, man, I was loving the instrumentation of this song. It has such like an intensity to it, and it's like doing all sorts of different stuff. It seems so varied and interesting. And that drum fill, oh my god. I think, I think the intensity of the musicality here, uh, of the instrumentation and the, and the sonic sound of it, is actually really backing up what Bellamy is saying in a way that I think it hasn't on a lot of records. But the kind of loud, intense kind of jamminess uh, is really accentuating the. Uh, kind of dire message that Matt Bellamy is trying to bring across with his lyricism. And I think it sells a lot better when the music backing it up is really powerful. Uh, an album like Simulation Theory, uh, the music didn't back up what Matt was saying at all. A lot of it was really lame uh, and, and kind of felt overdone in a way. The whole kind of 80s throwback. A lot of Simulation Theory was pretty boring. This... The music here is very well done. They sound like Absolution, Black Holes, Era. Um, Muse. Almost like what the Resistance should have been, in a way. Like if the Resistance was made in between Absolution and Black Holes with a bit of a modern twist. I like that. And once again, I I think uh, Dom and Chris, the drummer and bassist, are both very excellent musicians uh, who do a lot for this band. I mean, take a look at songs like Hysteria or like I think Hysteria is the best example. And here you can tell like the bass lines are super groovy uh, and these drum fills before the chorus just really does a lot for the song. gonna pause so yeah compliance um i enjoyed that a lot more than i was expecting honestly won't stand down if you saw my reaction to that you know it was a strange song that had moments of brilliance like that classic muse but also like was doing some kind of like 21 pilots fairly local thing on the on the verses and then had a random like metal breakdown it felt very disjointed and and weird with parts i really liked um but this song for the most part at least musically felt like that classic muse with that like intensity dire feel you know like our time is running out haha <laughs> get it because the song our time is running out but like that kind of vibe uh, and that like we need to act now and be strong and strike hard and and, and that kind of sound uh and i think the more kind of orwellian 1984 um, themes here, while being definitely very overdone and strung out by Muse, this is probably the best they've done it is on this track, maybe on Drones, um, because it sounds like classic Muse, like Absolution Era Muse, updated for the modern day, and it feels like a progression of that sound, instead of them just abandoning it for something like completely different, or, or pushing it in the wrong directions, like on, on the Resistance, pushing like the stuff that worked on Black Holes too far. Uh, on the resistance um this almost was like if the resistance the themes of that record were put in the sound palette of absolution uh made in 2022 and i really liked it i thought the intensity and sound of the song really backed up the kind of intensity and dire need of the lyricism and overall just painted a really good picture of kind of this idea of trying to stay fight against compliance um and i think it's what i gained from the lyricism is that this is going to be a, a concept album and this is going to be like from the um point of view of whoever is like ruling the government um saying you know we can help you but all we need is your compliance it's almost like a villain song in a musical it has this like dark intensity to it but it's still like really bombastic 
Um, interesting. I, I I was very worried from the minute I heard it because starting off immediately with the Queen kind of compliance, you know, chorus of opera singers um, reminded me a lot of the Resistance and Muse trying too hard as they do. Because Muse is a band where they're really cool, but sometimes they come off as really corny and push it too far. Uh, and I don't think they did that here. I think they went just far enough. Um, and judging from the first couple seconds of the song, you wouldn't think that. But then hearing the entirety of the song the way through, it doesn't come off like that. And I think part of it is because Dom and Chris are both extremely talented musicians. So the drums and the bass were really great throughout the entirety of the track and kind of kept things grounded uh, as a rock song and didn't get things going wild off the rails like they would in earlier, uh, well, those mid tier muse album or mid era muse albums your your resistances your second laws even drones a little bit i like the second law but yeah that was i like that song actually quite a bit uh, i wasn't expecting to honestly i was a little worried but i like that so yeah man i'm gonna be reviewing this album when it drops in august uh we've got one decent single and one pretty good single coming out so far so hey uh, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the review of uh, Will of the People by Muse when that comes out in August. I'm excited to hear it. Anyway, uh, this could be the best news album in a long time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.